Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how I use the whirly noise from a few tutorials that I watched recently. I thought it was pretty cool. So what I'm going to do is just create a sphere. And actually I'm going to create a primitive sphere. And change the type to polygon and subdivide a few times. Four is fine then look through it so i have more resolution on my sphere and then i will create a point bob can use an attribute no no attribute uh, bob but since i'm only going to deform points i'll uh, just this node now if i go inside what it, this node is doing is basically iterating over all of the points and you can uh, set up an operation in between these two p attributes or point attributes so you can deform the the points as you wish in this case we will use a uh, whirly noise to determine the position of the points so if i do this and that and then i will display it from here you'll see that nothing happened that the sphere disappeared and this is because um we don't want to uh add the the position of the points directly from the worldly but we want to add the worldly noise to this original position so what i'm going to do is just create an add node oh, not this one but this one and add the original position with the worldly noise and then I think I have to do it the other way around. Yes. Uh -huh. So I'm adding the original position and to the whirly noise, or the whirly noise to the original position of the of the point. Uh, the only problem is that you will see that it's pointing just in one side, and this is because the whirly noise is outputting a vector file. So all of the deformation is going to go uh, in that direction. What I want to do is uh, based on the normals that are facing in all of the sides, I want to, to displace my geometry. So in order to do that, instead of using an add, I will, will be using a displacement mm, along, uh, along the normal. And I'll use the amount, not the P attribute. I'll remove this and now you see that the uh, worldly noise is displaced in all of the directions you know not only one and another cool thing that i've learned using the worldly noise is that you have several distances several type of uh, uh, noises here in the same node and basically the distance two which is uh, at the opposite of the distance one if i subtract between each other it creates a very rocky um, effect. If I change the scale to negative, you'll see that it creates like small boulders. Um, and to this place, to, this, to, sh to showcase this even better, I will create a grid. And then instead of the sphere, I will use the grid and you'll see that you have like small boulders and uh, i think this is pretty good pretty good and another thing that i wanted to show you is that um you, we can mix other types of no uh, of noises like the turbulence noise to create even more de uh, deformation and um, so if i add this turbulence uh, node uh, I will use the same position, original position, then displace it, and then use the no noise output. You'll see that it's displacing. Of course, it's uh, in one direction because it's outputting a vector. But if I change from 1D to 3D, now it's, uh, it's better. It's in 3D. 3D is better in this case. Mm -hmm. I'll just subdivide a bit more 
you'll see that you have a very, very cool effect here. You can increase it or decrease it as you wish. And the good thing is that you have complete control over uh, the different noises um, very independently. And it's very clear what are you doing, what, are, what uh, type of modification you're doing. So thank you very much. I hope it's useful. And uh, yeah, see, see you in the next one.